here with me to explain what effects work stress actually has on us and ways we can become more productive through it all. I have psychiatrist Dr. Jonathan Moch. Jonathan, welcome to Healthy Business. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Stress is a buzzword. How do we know that we're suffering from stress? Well, um, we first have to define what stress is. And uh, a few years ago, I, I looked for a definition and uh, someone written and done research that there are about 3,000 definitions of stress. So you can choose your, 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 your own. Uh, a philosophical definition is what used to be called life is now called stress, which I think is quite a good idea uh, and gives a nice insight to it. Because if you're alive, you kind of got challenges. You've got uh, every human being has some kind of stress or some kind of uh, something that's worrying them or uh, causing them stress. Another definition is, is st and the, the debate is whether stress is the effect or the cause. So when you're feeling stressed, is that because of your workload? Or is stress because it's your mother-in-law or your boss is a lousy boss? And so it goes on. But I think the, 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 the very important uh, way of uh, trying to answer that question is around about what we call signals of, of stress. My late father, who was a, a medical doctor for 58 years, uh, when I started off in psychiatry, he told me about 80 to 90 percent of people coming to him a, as patients, their symptoms were stress related. And that's been um, verified by research amongst GPs that between 70 and 90 percent of complaints are stress related. So that could be a headache, it could be tiredness, it could be irritability. It could be whatever. Is there a way to measure the level of stress one is undergoing? Well, I would like to say definitely yes. There, there are some stress tests. Uh, and I put together about 12 years ago uh, uh, something called the Mach Stress Curve, uh, which is based on, on, um, on the relationship of performance to stress levels. And it's an inverted U. In other words, along this, what we call the, the vertical axis, is, uh, is your performance, and along the horizontal are your stress levels. And the curve goes like that, as I said. In other words, and very quickly, if your stress levels are low, your performance is low. If your stress levels are high, your performance is also low. In other words, you have to find some point, let's say in the middle, where your stress levels are just enough to keep you at peak performance. How does one manage to create that from a psychological perspective? Well, uh, uh, well that's, that's the essence perhaps of life. What used to be called stress is now called life. Is finding enough stress to keep you at peak performance. And that is meaning and, 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 and what you do, your, your work, your family life. Uh, exercise, whatever you want to do, is to get you to that point. Uh, and if you go over that point, that's when you start to get your signals. And that, as I said, if I recall back to my, my father, is that's when the signals of distress come about. Now, what type of signals would encourage someone to seek help on a professional level? Well, I think that comes a little bit later, because most people though, deal with those signals by self-medicating. They smoke more, or they drink more, they work harder, they exercise more, they take a pain tablet, they, they take an analgesia. But the, the problem becomes as they go down that slippery slope and their function now starts to decrease. Now we have negative and positive stress. Um, how does one A, identify negative and positive, and once you've identified it, how does one change from a negative stress to a positive stress? Okay, here we go with this definition, this, this, this curve here. When you're at the top, the scientists call that in the flow. And they've done it especially in sportsmen, golfers, uh, uh, Olympic athletes, when you, uh, they want you to peak. I think uh, last week we saw an incredible phenomenon of Barack Obama peaking peaking, his, his actual um, uh, uh, you know, approach to winning the presidency was very carefully crafted to peak. Um, so when you start to go over and you start to pick up the signals, and that's where you really have to look at yourself and say, what are my signals and relate them to increasing stress. As soon as you have a signal, just as you have a signal of 
of being hungry or, or thirsty and you, and you want a sip of water and you want, or you want to eat something. So you should say, ah, there's a signal that my stress levels have gone too much and therefore I have to pull back. And how do you do it? You drop your stress levels. You learn to say no. You go to sleep a couple of hours earlier. Thank you so much for your valuable input today. It was a pleasure speaking to you and I hope to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.